Your daily hair routine could be giving you cancer by sending billions of hazardous nanoparticles directly into your lungs. Scientists at Purdue University discovered that just 10 to 20 minutes of styling with common products and common heating products resulted in some 10 billion ultrafine particles being inhaled directly into your lungs, which is akin to standing next to a busy road in peak hours just huffing car exhaust. It's absolutely wild that simple hair care products, styling products, uh, flattening structure products, just stuff that we use every single day when exposed to heat, create a truly ludicrous amount of ultrafine particle or nanoparticle emissions. And since it's right here by your head, you breathe it directly into your lungs. So there were a limited number of participants for this study. They were allowed to use their own styling products and their own tools, which was mostly flat irons, but we had curling irons and blow dryers as well. And while the sample size was small, repeated experiments were able to confirm this happened pretty much every single time. And what happened was that through heating, the nanoparticles released from these hairstyling products were composed mostly of volatile organic compounds and some were other, uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce all of these, but they are carcinogenic and they're bad for your lungs because heating hair products breaks down the silicone compounds into ultrafine particles less than 100 nanometers in size, which is perfect for reaching the deepest parts of the lungs and even entering the bloodstream. They even have the ability to build up and bioaccumulate in our body. And it's very deeply concerning because a simple 10 to 20 minute hair routine using right off the shelf products that everybody uses every single day resulted in inhaling around 10 billion nanoparticles directly into your lungs. Again, it would be less harmful for you to probably sit in the garage with your car going for a few minutes than it would be to style your hair with heat. And this is scary because nobody knows this. And even when people do know this, it's gonna be difficult to convince people to style their hair differently without heat because they want their hair to look good. It's, uh, it's kind of frightening actually.